everyone, it's Hannah. This is another writing vlog. Uh, today's is going to be a little different since I am working on kind of reworking the plot. Um, so I did, I did some research earlier today while my other YouTube videos were um, uploading and let me, let me show you what I got here. So this is kind of my setup right now. Um, at the very top I have my main main characters plus just kind of a little key of saying what color is what. Um, I decided after a lot of pondering and some research I have mostly a romance plot with a lot of gothic themes in it so I looked up plots for both um, romance plots and uh, gothic plots and I will post the links below from where I pulled these uh, plot lines from but I think what I'm going to do first is that I will take these plots and split them in between the two books as you can see I have these two little pieces of papers down here and I'll start kind of figuring out the scenes and as extra scenes are needed to be put in I do have my little notebook there and then I also do have um, here it is my original scene list so I can also work off of this and incorporate it into all of this um, so uh, yeah let's let's get going So my first 10 minutes are up, um, and I'm, I'm actually getting somewhere with th this plotting, which makes me happy. Um, as you probably noticed, I laid out kind of all the scenes, kind of split up what, you know, book I wanted them in, and um, after that I started focusing specifically on the first book. Um, so... Let me, let me show you how I did this. So this row here 
is my romance plot and this bottom row here is my um, gothic plot. So each of these things, here I'll show you this one, um, it tells me what act in that plot line it's in, um, what scene it is, what scene number it is in that plot line, and down here I have notes about what I think it should be or what it is. Um, so that's kind of how I organize my my scene cards. And then what I'm doing is that I'm just kind of going over each scene that kind of overlaps, or each scene, reading kind of what's here, checking my computer here, and then writing the synopsis scene up here. So that's kind of what I'm doing. It seems to be working pretty well so far because now I can kind of see what elements I need. And now that I'm looking at this, I might not have to split it into two books. I don't know. It, you guys, I don't know what I'm doing. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if I was also trying to focus on the wrong things when I was thinking that I needed two books. Um, so we'll, we'll see. I'm still kind of leaning towards splitting it into two just because I think it would be interesting, but I might, I might not need to at this point. So I guess, I guess we'll see. Anyways, time to keep plotting. scenes written down. Um, as you can see here, I haven't completely finished book one. I have two, maybe three more scenes left. Um, but I feel like it's coming along really well actually. And I'm really excited for where this is going. Um, and to see how, how this book develops. Um, I do think I am going to finish plotting the first book tonight so that, tom or not tomorrow, tomorrow's Sunday, my rest day, so that on Monday 
I can just focus on doing book two and I can pick up and continue writing. So yeah, here's first part of planning. Second part will be filmed on Monday um, and will be released on Tuesday. And yeah, I, that, that's about it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.